Hi, this is Tim. Let's talk about what terms Connected Components Workbench uses for upload, download, and go online when you're connecting to an Allen Bradley Micro 800 PLC. Note this is an excerpt from a live stream, so it is not perfect. Oh, we hadn't actually talked about Connected Components. That's right. Let me, let me hit that at least a little bit before we do. Because what you would love to happen is to have that same communications who active thing. And I really wish they would, but they haven't. So, you know, Rockwell, if you're actually out there, this would be on my wish list is, right, on every other software we can go to communications and we can manage to, like, go on act, go, go online, upload and download. It would be great to have that there. But we need to go to, actually, we had to create, that's right, there it is. We had to go to this Discover. And Discover is really what I would basically call upload almost or it could be browse it's it's kind of a gray area i wish like i said i wish they would make this a little more uniform okay and it's it's thinking about it right now so yeah while it's thinking about it if you hadn't hit that like button then yeah please like this video and yeah hit that subscribe and yeah any questions you have in chat feel free to put them this is you know we're trying to hit those basics Let's see, um, RS Links compatibility with Excel for exporting data. What for that? For that, you are going to need a what well, I would allow, and here's where you hate to say you got to pay for you know, you have to actually have a paid version of it. Actually, I don't even think I do not. I, I um, I don't have a paid version of this, so you would need single node or or professional or something like that, and then you could use um, you could use them to do that there's some modern ways we probably should do a video on that sometime um actually you know i've got um since we're here we're going into connected components i have a um a, i've I learned they, they've got some neat things in here now all right let's go to ethernet and this one is a micro 850 and okay there's you know we haven't talked a lot about this you notice we've got a couple of micro plcs here and so after that, it's going to give us the part number. And that's why, you know, you got to identify your machines. And then we're going to use the Micro 850 up here. So we're going to click OK. So what it just did, and that's why I kind of wish they would call this. Oh, it's still, it's still getting it. Um, well, I really think the Discover button should be Upload. Uh, but I guess they're trying to get away from those terms. So either in Studio 5000, they need to get away from those terms or it, we need to go to those terms and connect to components. Because that's the one stumbling block I see is really it's when you upload, when you download, and what the what the world is that discover button? All right, it's still thinking through it. And there you go. We are now look, even down here it says upload succeeded. So we hit discover, we navigated to it and hit the OK button, and it uploaded. So I call this upload. And now we are online with it. And, you know, it doesn't look that much different. I don't even know what program's in this one, so we'll see. Okay, well, well it is a little different in here. We're doing some, oh, uh, we're doing some motion control or some things. Yeah, so this, um, but yeah, this the ladder looks about the same. The only stumbling block really is... Well, one, let me go ahead and just disconnect from here so we can see these. Is In the end, they do call it download and upload, but you have that discover. Also, usually I just right-click over here, and then you have download, upload, and connect. Connect is go online. So, yeah, the terminology is still a little bit gray there, but, yeah, <laughs> I'll leave that at that. Click here for our free Allen Bradley PLC lessons. Till next time.